Hello and welcome back with an RSPS video and today we have the first time on default RSPS a brand new semi-custom old school RuneScape server. I'm super excited. They've done some really nice work and today I'm gonna be presenting this server to you. First things first, the giveaway is gonna be two spring boxes to one lucky winner. All you have to do for that is like the video, comment, change your name down below, and be subscribed to my channel. When you guys log in for the first time, make sure to type column, column referral into the chat. Then this lovely box will be popping up, and then make sure to type walkers in for some very juicy starter packs. As you can see, everyone will be getting a lovely YouTube gift box, so make sure to claim that and have some opening fun. Checking out the back, you can see right off the bat how many different custom items they actually have. It's just absolutely beautiful. That right here, for example, is best in slot melee set right here. We've got bloody sign for Vitcher, all these different uh, stuffs, and so much more. And yes, the freaking custom items look absolutely freaking sick. So this is the old man right here. The first thing I'd like to go through is the upgrade table right here. Very, very clean. So we've got a couple options right here right off the bat. For example, the bloody tentacle eye. To get that one, you want the bloody tentacle whip and 250 million in cash. 57% success rate to get that one. As you can see, there's a bunch of other weapons as well you guys will be able to upgrade to. Different custom armors. There's actually a variety of these. Jesus Christ, Tova eye, where you guys need to get the default dust. Now we have a bunch of different jewelry you guys can go ahead and upgrade to if you'd like to. We have different pants you guys can upgrade and also a bunch of miscellaneous woods. Homer looks very nice and very greenish. I freaking love that. Fountain of Enchantments right here. Very, very huge one as well as we can see. So as you can see right here, which pack would you like to donate for? Minimum 1 mil, maximum 100 million right there. So we've got a bunch of different options as you can see right here that you guys can go ahead and donate for. As we can see right here, pretty big homer. I freaking love it. You got a bunch of different chests as well at the homer that you guys were able to open. Elven crystal chest and a bunch of other woods. Of course, rune light plaggings, everything is as well included on default that you guys can go and play around. I've put HD on. I can definitely recommend you to do it as well. It just looks much, much better. Then we've got deadman chest right here. A bunch of booth woods. Absolute clean homer. Teleport around. You guys want to go ahead and click on the teleport right here. We've got a bunch of different cities, dungeons. For all the lovely PVM stuff, as you can see, the list is literally huge. Training teleports that you guys can go and check out yourself, starting from like an easy training zone, medium, hardwood, so a bunch of custom stuff as well right there, and a bunch of other tellies right there. Mini game wise, we got Barrows, Blast Photos, Castle Wars, Champions of Zarek, Duel Arena, Fight Caves, Inferno, Last Man Standing, Mother Lord Mine, Pass Control, Puro Puro, Permanent Blunder, War Skills, and Winter Taunt as well included on default. Then into the Wilderness Teleports, we've got a shit ton of content in there, as you can see right here. Chaos Alley, East Dragons, Pharox and Clave, Graveyard of Shadows, uh, Great Demons, Ice Plateau, Lava Mace, Mage Bank, Ravenance, Resource Area, and the lovely West Dragons. Next up, we got a bunch of different uh, skinning teleports. There's literally too many. I can't go through all of them right here. And then we go into the boss already. Donate a boss, vote boss, Abyss of Sire, Cyberus, Corporal Beast, Dagonoth, Layar, Galvec, Giant Maul, Godwas Dungeon, Calvai Queen, T.O. Bay. Okay, that's interesting. That's in bosses right there. Kingblade Dragons, Kraken, Nightmare is one included. Smoke Devil, Warcraft, Nomad, Nex as well. And finally... Zoro. If you type column column rates, you guys will teleport right here for cogs as well. That I, I think did not see on the minigame teleport. But anyway, that's how you guys will be able to get into cogs. Alrighty, here is the TOB lobby. Looks very, very clean. And uh, yeah, so both rates are included as well. Default that you guys will be able to grind. I like all these little features they have. Also, the all the different uh, interfaces. Looks very, very clean. Alrighty, let's talk a little bit about custom items we're wearing right here. So one of the items I freaking love and looks super clean is the Default Aura right here. It is in the amulet slot right there. So basically, it's a Fury with boosted prayer bonuses. The bow you see right here is the Default Buy. That bad boy has not been released yet. This is best in slot for Ravs. Ravs is a really good money maker on Default. And yeah, first little sneak peek right here Alrighty, let's go ahead and check out a couple of bosses and do a little bit of uh, attacking as well so the first one i'm gonna go ahead and attack is mr nomad right there oh my fucking lord he has these what on earth is that bro all these freaking stones flying from there plus that i made okay that's actually pretty interesting he got some proper fucking custom animations i love that i freaking do bro he has so many different animations that is actually nuts i don't even know what uh, attack style I should be using. I feel like for this boss right here, we should be going like with range. I think like melee wasn't the smartest thing to do. So a cool thing is I want to check out when you die. You're actually going to be getting all your items to that chest right there. Make sure you're claiming it from 
the lovely death right there. So as you can say, Nomad, absolute freaking amazing boss. It's obviously multi-zone, so you can do it with other people as well. I'm not sure if that was the right freaking attack style to go for. But anyway, absolute amazing animations. Alrighty, next we're going to be showcasing a Siren boss. Freaking love it. You need teleport or Siren to be able to go there. This boss only attackable with magic. So it's important you guys will not be using anything besides magic. As you can see, he got a lot of freaking uh, HP. And he's just pulling me on him, bro. This is fucking scary shit right here. And uh, yeah, I don't even know what a textile he's using, to be honest. He's just fucking clapping me. So the meter for the bosses, you want to go ahead and protect a mage against it. It's going to hit very hard through prayer as well. So you kind of have to be careful. It's a, one of the hardest bosses in the game, and yeah, it is not easy to kill it. And that's exactly why you guys want to grind custom items in here, because otherwise, these bosses will not be easy to die, and that makes the game much more interesting to grind. Next up, we're going to do a little opening right here. We're going to be opening these lovely spring boxes, which are also given away to the lovely boys. So I, sorry for the spam, by the way, in case you're watching that in-game. Um... Yeah, so we're going to be opening all these lovely spring box right here again. So make sure you like, and comment, give names on below, and be subscribed to our channel. Don't do the lovely giveaway. We're giving away two of these lovely bad boys. And as you can see, the loot is absolute abysmal. We got freaking Ferocious Gloves, 80 Slayer Woods, Dragon Colossus, 250 Scratch Cards right there, Donator Token, $25 one, Dragon Hunter Lens, Dragon Warhammer, and all the other items. If you want to check every single loot, just go ahead and pause it. Here we go, next inventory opens, we've got a Toxic Blood Scroll Fry, I love this custom content right there, membership tokens, a bunch of other lovely items you guys can pause again if you guys like to see it. We got a Luxury Box as well, yes, Luxury Box, very fucking OP, we will be opening a couple of these as well, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open the final inventory right here, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what we're going to be getting, might as well go with a life clip, good luck to the boys. So you guys can see it, and there's literally nothing trolly in there. Like, literally nothing is useless. Another Dragon Hunter Lens right there. Membership token. Uh, two freaking Dragon Hunter Lens. Not bad. And all the other items you guys see right there. Okay, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Luxury box opening right now. I don't know what is in there, but let's go ahead and find out. So similar loot tables, uh, but a little bit more cosmetic. Ooh, okay. Toxic Blow Pipe. Prims as well. Bunny ears. Slayer Task Voucher. Damn, son. I would say a little bit better than the other boxes, loot-wise from what I say. But overall, quite similar as well. And what a nice freaking opening. I've just seen we've got the Devolt Task as well right here in my lovely bank. The one that you guys will need for some very end-game upgrades. To farm Default Task, you want to go ahead and grind it from T.O.B. and Cogs. Okay, so we've just redeemed a lovely membership scroll. We've got three days on our membership time. That's pretty cool. If you guys type column, column, benefits in game, you guys will be able to see all the different perks you guys will have on your account with the lovely membership. So exit, donate zone, column, column, DZ right here, fight cave starts at wave 63, inferno starts at wave 69, bonus XP 1.25 multiplier, bonus block money two times, two times, wow, that's insane, noted grimy herbs in the wilderness, bonus block money PVMing, bonus block money, uh, sorry, Bonus PVM point two times. And then you guys can see even more perks for the higher donor ranks, which is actually fucking nuts. So yeah, make sure to be stacking your membership because the perks are freaking. Also, there's tournaments, as you can see right here, which are pretty freaking clean as well for some nice rewards. The final thing I'd like to show you are the lovely quest times right here. Especially the most important thing are the lovely Achievement Diary. So go ahead and complete these bad boys right here. As well as max your account, you will get the best cape in the game, which is the completion escape. Also, if you guys did not max and you complete these lovely achievements right there, you guys will be getting the Ring of Endless Recoil. The Ring of Endless Recoil can be turned into the Ring of Endless Recoil Eye, and it loots all your layer boxes for you. So that's a pretty nice item as well. And the final tab right here is drop tables, box uh, drop tables, vault boss drop tables. Uh, we also have Collage Lock in the works right now, and a lot more. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's a pretty sick server showcase right here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Lots of custom content already. Brand new server right here. I freaking love it. I love how freaking clean the graphics everything look like. Super, super nice. So definitely give the follow a try with the links down below. And of course, enter the giveaway by liking the video, commenting your game name down below, and be subscribed to my channel. That's it today. Thanks so much for tuning in. When you're looking for the first time, column, column, referral into the chat. Not refer, like that. 
and then type walk is in for the youtuber gift claim that one thanks tuning in love y'all have a good one and peace out